And this is what happened. And then, of course, while I was hauling, broke the uh, broke the arb rail. <laughs> All right, I just started taking these off, or starting to try to take these off, and these are on there solid. So I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to get these off yet. I may end up having to cut them off and replace them. <sighs> I guess we'll find out, huh? Well, after some thinking about it, uh, I don't think these bolts are going to come apart, and I really don't need to save the bolts anyway. I can just go get more. So I'm just going to try and cut them off. So after having found all the bits and pieces, it looks like we have two that are four inches long and six that are three inches long and I think these are five sixteenths they sure look like five sixteenths leg or uh, carriage bolts so I think a trip to the hardware store is in order and looking at this it might do with a uh, kind of a hosing off a little bit of cleaning and maybe a repainting maybe not I don't know I mean it's a it's a wheelbarrow it's been like this for a long time. Doesn't look like it's rusting through at all, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just clean it up and give it a give it a blast of spray paint or something. It's warm and sunny and the dogs are laying in the sun. Actually, one's laying in the shade, one's laying in the sun. Trip to the hardware store later. I got the four inch bolts and the three inch bolts, some uh, nylock washers, some uh, regular lock washers. I also got, uh, let's see, I got the rust stop paint, and you can tell it's the right stuff because it's got a picture of a wheelbarrow on it. And I got this, which is the truck bed liner. I'll put this on the inside, although I don't know that that's going to do any good whatsoever. I also got some uh, collar locks because I want to try and lock the uh, wheels on with those if I can rather than trying to put cotter pins in. We'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm trying to add it so that I've got two wheels. Not sure if that's going to work. And unfortunately, I forgot about the front bracket. I've got a couple of these that have to come off too, and they're uh, they're also not coming apart, so I'm going to have to get the bolt cutter and cut these, I think. Okay, I've got two coats of paint on both the inside and the outside. The inside is the truck bed liner, which is uh, a little bit thicker and a little bit rougher than the, uh, the outside, which is the nice, smooth, um, nice smooth enamel. So I'm going to let this sit for about an hour. I've got the rest of these pieces painted as well. Uh, I'll let this sit for about an hour, let the paint dry and cure a little bit, and then we'll go and put the rest of it together. And Sissy's here helping. So one thing is the old wedges had the holes drilled in them, and the new ones do not. So I'm going to have to drill some holes in these wedges so that they will fit and you need to try and match them to the old ones, or at least get them reasonably close. And I think my battery is just about out. Yeah, I'm not going to drill these two holes until it's actually mounted to the uh, the handles because that way I can guarantee that the holes will match up. So what I've done is I bolted this in just temporarily. And then I'll just run the drill through.
and boom. Holes are perfectly matched. Putting this together is going to be a little tricky because I need to install the bolts from this side, run them through the wood, and then attach them from the bottom. It's going to be a little bit cumbersome, but I think we'll uh, work with it and see, see what happens. A long bolt goes on the front side, I'm pretty sure. Find out if I get it wrong. And I need to elongate this hole a little bit. Oops, I forgot to put the feet on. I'm gonna have to take these bolts out. Okay, this is the strange part. I'm not sure whether these want to go this way. this way if I want to put the wheels on the outside so let's uh, let's see and if I put them in like this Well, that works except uh, rubs against the wood here, so maybe I can use the old spacers. indeed works. Well, works as well as it's going to. Those are, uh, the bolts are in from the wrong side, but at least I know it fits, so I know how to put it together. Cool. And one more piece to go on the front. And this one's going to be a pain because it's just a little off. So, we use a little bit of persuasion.
there we go now all I've got to get is some cotter pins to put in the wheel side since I don't have the right collars and I think it's a little too late to go get them now I think the hardware store is closed so uh, let's see if I can find something to put in there and then we'll flip it over and give it a check and there she is the uh, recovered wheelbarrow I think it's actually a little bit better than it was when it was new, kind of, sort of, because it's got the two wheels instead of just the one. I'm going to go through and touch up some of the uh, paint that I scraped off in the process, but uh, and eventually I'll put some uh, collars on those instead of the cotter pins. I just happened to find the old cotter pins. I'm just amazed that I still kept those. But uh, it's in one piece more or less, and seems to be working just fine. So now I'll be able to get it all dirty again and uh, treat it badly, so. And that's gonna be it for me today, because that's more work than I had intended. Uh, today was supposed to be kind of a day off, but I wanted to get the, the wheelbarrow done, and it turned out that it was a, a one-day project, or a good part of one day, anyway. Uh, there's more stuff to do. I've got to finish off the garden a little bit. I've still got to do the rest of the planting and I mean there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to do in the backyard but this is one more thing off the list and that's a good thing. So all right till next time. See you guys. It's just pretty. <laughs>